culture can also be the perceived challenge to overcome. Some groups seem so divided that finding common ground can be a challenge. But all perspectives must have a voice if we are to have a meaningful impact. Diversity is not just politically correct, but necessary if we want to overcome barriers and understand people from diverse backgrounds. Dr. Mark Rosenberg has worked for almost 40 years on the problem of gun violence. He was instrumental in establishing CDC's National Center for Injury Prevention and Control and became its first permanent director. He also served as Assistant Surgeon General. Dr. Rosenberg developed a groundbreaking science-based approach to violence prevention that laid groundwork for both CDC and the World Health Organization. CDC's National Center for Injury Prevention and Control was the leading expert in firearm injury research until Congress withdrew that budget. So many times the reason we don't get the results that we want is that we don't take the time to understand the people that we're working with. We think we need to argue with them. We think we need to show we are right. Sometimes we think we're going to do something to these people or we're going to do something for these people. But the first step is just understanding that these people are people you want to work with. And working with takes understanding. It sometimes seems like America can't do much about gun violence. Uh, sorry, did I say sometimes? I meant always. Uh, and did I say very much? Uh, I meant uh, a single thing. But why? Former Arkansas Congressman Jay Dickey pulled a total Dickey move and helped pass the Dickey Amendment. That Jay Dickey guy, that congressman, said, we're going to take that money away from CDC and we're going to put language that's going to govern how you spend all of your money. I thought of him as this arch enemy, this devil incarnate. Oh, that guy sounds like a freedom-loving badass. When I met Jay Dickey, a congressman from Arkansas, it was all too easy for me to think, here's someone who was so different from me. He was a conservative, born-again Christian, a gun-toting, gun-loving nut. That's how I saw him. It doesn't make sense, I thought, to try to talk sense to him. Mark, you're in deep shit. I brought the guy, Jay Dickey. Jay. Hi, Mark. Hey, Jay. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to see Old Man Fight Club. What the fuck's going on? Congressman Dickey didn't buy into that stereotype. He believed if he met someone who thought differently from him, then he needed to talk more to that person, needed to understand what was behind the differences. He invited me back to Washington, and I decided I'll go in and I'll talk to him. I'll just be very, very careful. I went into his office. I saw pictures on his wall, pictures of his children. So we started talking about his family and his children. And then he asked me about my family and my children. And he learned about me. And I learned about him. I learned that he was open to hearing opposing views if, if he felt respected, if he felt connected, and if he felt that I was going to understand and that he could understand. He wanted to bridge the differences. And then we were able to work out a way forward. Jay, tell him how you feel about the CDC doing research about gun violence. I think the CDC should do the gun research that relates to gun violence. You're the guy, it's your bill. I feel different now than I did before. Science has answers and research is the way to free it. That's the way I see it. I learned that we could find ways to prevent gun violence and to protect gun rights at the same time. Bullshit. How are these two even sitting in the same room together? Here you had a born-again Christian, conservative, NRA spokesperson. Republican. Republican. And here you had this wise-ass, liberal, Northeast Jewish kid. Overeducated. You guys are funny. You're like from totally different perspectives, but put together like that TV show. The Odd Couple. No. Uh, two broke girls? We would support research that both protected gun rights, and he taught me how important it was to say that explicitly out loud, and reduce gun violence. It was no longer either or. It wasn't either do the research or keep your guns. We found a way to do both. Allowing ourselves to open our eyes, 
and to ask questions begins to bridge the walls of opposition. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, we have struggled with our cultural divide about how to tackle this disease. Many people have not wanted to wear masks or follow scientific guidance to reduce the spread of disease. How do we reach these people? We have to work harder to understand their culture, to bridge these massive cultural divides, even in a single country like the U.S., we first need to seek to understand the culture, more importantly, the individuals on every side. While culture is a collective product of many individuals, respecting the culture also means respecting the individuals who value and empower that culture. True understanding and respect for each other is the key to and can empower real change.